Well, it actually turns out I'm not going to Schoolie Palooza and I'm not going to RTR, but since I won't, I want you guys to meet a few people who I've been camping with so you can get a taste for why people choose to live this way and if they like it. So let's go do a simple kind of couple question Q&A. Victim of the day. Victim. Why do you live this lifestyle? Let's go out into the sun because it's a little dark. All right. So why do you live this way? <laughs> because, well, I I've always wanted to, and I finally had a chance when I retired. Okay, I got fired from a job, bought the bus, built it, tired of looking for work, get on the road, and uh, been loving it ever since. What's the best part about it? Uh, if I'm near people that I like, I can stay. If they're near people that I don't like, I can move. Or I find a pretty spot, I can just say, I can stay here. I can stay here for a few days and enjoy it. All right, now we got everybody's favorite mechanic, Mr. Badge V Light RVing. Why do you live this way? Well, because, um, like I said before, in Alberta, you're looking at 18. To two thousand a month to rent a place and to buy a place at sixty five would I waste the time? And it's we don't we live it on social security, so we only got about I don't know about fifteen hundred bucks to play with. So this here is a lot. This is you can do it with this here. So um, it's just it's just I don't know. It's, it's hard. Dean asked me that the other day. It's just hard because. Um, it, this doesn't take a whole bunch of money to do it. That's the thing. And like um, everybody goes on about owning this or uh, owning the stuff, but see, none of that's paid for. But the thing is, is that the payments you can live with, like the truck, like six, and the trailer's like a three hundred. So at nine hundred, that's still cheaper than eighteen hundred plus gas plus this plus that and it's just so we can afford it right and if you don't like the neighbors you just move you know <laughs> and that's the good part about it but you know and, and that's what Dean asked me about it the other day was that what's what's the worst part about doing it and I, I just can't come up with any like uh, there's nothing bad about this like it's really hard to explain to somebody that's watching it because Unless you do it, it's really, really hard to explain because there's nothing bad about it. Like you get the, like we're out trying to outrun the snow, so it's a different thing, right? And like, um, it's just, I don't know, it's just so many good things that I, I really don't have no bad stuff about it, really. Because it's, you know, you meet all these great people and, you know, and have campfires and talk and it's like, you know, the funny thing is that you sit back and you look at it, and you know, like a year ago, the only ones that we knew was you, was you, the only, you and Bob. Well, Bob's in California. And we all sit around that fire, and it's like we were there. We've been friends for years. It's the weirdest thing going, but it's true. It's like, and not anybody has a problem with the other person, and it's just, it's amazing. It's just totally amazing. So I was just asking people, why you guys chose to live this way? Uh, oh, short God, answer, so uh, many. yeah, because we just, were tired of the rat race and the just the same old, same old, and uh, wanted we love traveling and seeing the country. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and we just take our tiny house just with us. wasn't satisfying or or meaningful to just live a life to just pay bills and to just feel like you're constantly falling behind so yeah we yeah. might be falling behind now but it's much more fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i guess yeah that would be that works we met on a cruise ship in hawaii as we were telling jacks earlier and it's just kind of a wild travel life and we knew that we kind of wanted that life um and we were tired of paying rent um we had paid rent you kind of added it all up. Yeah, we'd paid rent for five years, and it's twelve hundred dollars a month going to someone else's mortgage, and that was seventy-five thousand dollars that we'd never get back. So we wanted to try and uh, live a little differently, cut down our expenses, and uh, fill up with our experiences. We worked on a cruise ship in Hawaii, 
it was our contracts were five months long so we'd work on the ship for five months we'd get our food paid for our room and board um, so n no expenses at all and after about five months we'd save ten thousand dollars and then have five weeks to go on vacation and just travel so we'd done that so many times already and uh, we decided to do it in America, you know, in the United States. Instead, there's so much here in the States that we haven't seen, so. But we had gotten acclimated to like the tiny living lifestyle because there you have roommates. At least we got to choose each other's roommates for this life, but, um, but it's, yeah, it's very um, small quarters. You're working all the time. And so we're, you know, we're, we're fine with hard work. We just also need to know who we're working for and what we're doing it for. And that's why building the bus was something we could do together and do it the way we wanted to do it. Yeah. And having less material possessions too, it's it's so much, it's freeing because you buy, you know, we had cars, we had motorcycles, we had a two bedroom house and we bought all this stuff, but it was, pre the material things that we bought was preventing us from doing what we wanted to do, you know, it was holding us back. So mm -hmm. once we freed ourselves from a lot of that, we're able to just move around and travel. Yeah. Um, we are an outdoorsy family, so we're rock climbers, backpackers, uh, stuff like adventurers. that. Adventurers. And we have yeah. two young kids, five and eight, two girls. So um, we spent the last eight years or so living in North Carolina, um, and we could only afford one big trip every two years out west. And so this was kind of our way to move our life onto the road and spend more time adventuring and having fun with the kids. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Been climbing probably at least a third of the days we've been traveling so far. So yeah. Two months in and we've done a lot of climbing. Yeah, more, more than we've done in the last three years. A year or more. Yeah. <laughs> for the freedom gained from it for sure. Um, that's definitely major, major inspiration for me. Um, and then found out, you know, once I got into the lifestyle that there's some amazing, awesome people doing this as well. So the community is fantastic with this lifestyle, for sure. You know, living this kind of lifestyle, you're, you're kind of going for that more sustainable type life that this actually provides for you now, rather than you having to, you know, give so much to your house to keep it working for you. This now on solar provides everything you need. Um, much less money unless you're driving all the time of course diesel gets expensive so I travel around you know doing the roof raises and that sort of thing so in doing that pays pretty good and affords me a lot of freedom just to travel and check things out you know there's so much to see out here that, so much beauty you know so you finally get a chance to be in it rather than just see it from afar but I don't have hardly any payments you know now at all so I find that living out here on the road like this your bank account stacks up way faster than uh, living at a house where you have all these bills you're just trying to maintain you know so you're working your butt off just to pay the bills you know most mainly so now I'm just working my butt off to have more money in my account so it's great yeah. I can work for a little while and afford to take off for a couple months at a time and just enjoy life for a while so you're 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 free and clear and you're you know yeah completely 100 percent debt free and just living honestly a little personal but about 200 bucks a month is all I actually need to to live uh that doesn't include food or fuel but that's basically my bills cell phone and insurance on my bus 200 a month that's all I have to have to have I live this way because I wanted a way to travel and still be able to afford it. So this seemed like the best way to see as much as I possibly could without requiring a bunch of tickets, uh, airplane tickets, and uh, just go at my own spate, at my own pace. So. Mm -hmm. uh, to be free and to not be tied down to uh, material items yeah. and when you aren't stuck with a bunch of stuff. It feels lighter. <laughs> and you can experience a lot more. Yeah. You can put your money towards experiences. Uh, rather than rent. Right, right. Yeah. And I think another thing too that we didn't realize until we like actually became 
a part of this community was how big the community is and just like how incredible it is to meet people on the road and like you meet up with someone and then you may not see them again or you may see them again and if you do it's like super cool because then you cross paths again like we were driving on the highway and one of our buddies that we hadn't talked to in months recognized us and contacted us was like hey pull over like let's grab lunch and we were just in the middle of Ari like where were we, we were like friggin New, New Mexico so yeah, yeah being part of a community that like values the same thing exactly is really really cool exactly <laughs> Well, I guess uh, for for us, I mean, we we're living in Austin, Texas, and I mean, for one, rent's insane there, but that wasn't, you know, totally it. I mean, I've been wanting to, you know, live this way for a long time, and traveling is really the main reason to be able to go wherever you want, when you want, and more importantly, see the people that you want when you want to see them and not be rushed to be, you know, heading to the next deal or, you know, however. Um, but I mean, yeah, I guess just the freedom. I mean, for me, what do you think, babe? Yeah, freedom. This is awesome. I mean, it's just, it's the best to be able to have everything you need right in like this small area that you can drive wherever you want to go in the whole entire United States. You can go to Central America, South America, Canada, Alaska, anywhere. And you have everything you need and it's just, it's simple and it's awesome. a little disappointed that I'm not at one of these events. I apologize, but this is the reason why. This is all of my belongings. I have nowhere to sleep. I don't have a mattress. I have nothing to sleep on. And I have all this stuff on my bus. It's not finished. So my apologies if anybody came out to meet specifically me. If not, enjoy all the amazing other people that you will meet at these wonderful events.